News uh, coming in in the Tehelka sexual assault uh, case. The Goa court has uh, said there will be no bail. The court has denied bail to Tehelka founder Tarun Tejpal in this uh, case. Uh, our managing editor Vinay Tiwari is with us. Also with us, uh, Chief Legal Correspondent Ashok Bagria. Ashok, as far as the procedure is concerned, he'll be taken into custody immediately? Well, of course, the moment the bail is denied to Tarun Tejpal, he is taken into custody by the Goa police. But what is really important is the fact that Tarun Tejpal at the moment is in the office of the Goa crime branch. And once the police comes to know, he will be taken into custody. Now, as uh, what uh, will be really, uh, uh, you know, it will come as a shock for Tarun Tejpal is that for the last uh, many days, he's been trying to evade custodial interrogation by the Goa police. And now this particular sessions judge in Goa has decided that he should not be given uh, any anticipatory bail and uh, Tarun Tejpal should participate in investigations and especially when it pertains to a very serious offense of rape which has been leveled against him. Right. Uh, if you're joining us right now, this is the latest. The so Goa court has denied anticipatory bail to Tehelka founder Tarun Tejpal in the sexual assault case. It took a long time, but that decision finally coming. Goa court has uh, denied uh, anticipatory bail to Tehelka uh, founder. Uh, managing editor Vinay Tiwari has been following the story very closely. Uh, Vinay, as far as the procedure and the investigation is concerned from here on, uh, what will the police be looking to do? Well, what will immediately happen, Karma, over the next few minutes is that Mr. Tejpal will be formally placed under arrest. Uh, the crime branch will announce him, uh, to him that he is being placed under arrest. And since it is just about 8 o'clock in the evening today, uh, this means that the Goa police now has time till 8 p.m. tomorrow to produce him before a magistrate. And since tomorrow is a Sunday, uh, Mr. Tejpal will be produced before a duty magistrate. Uh, and in front of the duty magistrate, the Goa crime branch will now argue for uh, police remand. Uh, it will up, it's now up to the magistrate tomorrow to decide on how long that police remand is going to be. Obviously, the prosecution usually asks for a very long period of uh, remand. The maximum remand period in one go can only be 14 days. So that's the maximum that the prosecution can ask for. Uh, but clearly, uh, he will now be produced in a court tomorrow before 8 p.m. because that's the kind of time the Goa police has. And then the formal process of investigation and his interrogation on every aspect that the Goa police now has in its possession will begin formally uh, uh, karma. Right. Uh, I'm told we have uh, Shoaib Ahmed joining us uh, on the phone line. Uh, Shoaib, what details do you have? What happened inside court? Hello, this is two minutes ago. The, uh, the uh, session court here has rejected the anticipated data application court. This started after over three hours uh, that, the, uh, that we were waiting here in the courtroom. The judge finally came out and said that the anticipated bail has been rejected. Uh, Tarun Tejpal's counsel is right now uh, uh, arguing and requesting the court if uh, the interim relief can be extended. Now, we don't exactly know what is happening on that front because that is happening inside the court. But some sort of an interim relief is, um, is being pleaded by Tarun Tejpal's counsel. Um, they, she's also pleading that interrogation should perhaps take place, take place in the presence of his advocates. And now these are some things that uh, she is uh, trying to uh, try and uh, uh, try and extract out of the court. This is still being heard uh, inside the courtroom. But the big takeaway is that the anticipated bail application has been rejected, which means that Goa police can arrest Tarun Tejpal any moment. Now, Tarun Tejpal is right now the crime branch office, not at the courtroom from 4.30 onwards at the crime branch office. Um, so it's, it's, it's totally now the ball is in police's court. They can arrest him at any moment now and start their investigation. Right, so that can happen. Okay. And uh, Ashok, you were talking to us about possible scenarios. Uh, bail uh, rejected by the court, yes, but uh, still uh, the, the counsel for Tarun Tejpal pleading uh, for certain things. Now, that is something that the court can look uh, into. Well, uh, Karma, what is being, what is happening in Goa is very, very unusual. And in fact, uh, the request, was, as Shoaib has been telling us, is that the lawyers for Tarun Tejpal are requesting the court 
for some sort of a concession that if Tarun Tejpal is taken into custody for interrogation, it should be done in the presence of a lawyer. Now, this is something which is uh, not prescribed in the criminal procedure court. And in fact, uh, you know, all efforts seem to be uh, afoot to bend the rules for Tarun Tejpal because this is something which has never been permitted by uh, the courts and even this kind of a request has never been made. So what it appears at the moment is that uh, all uh, or the legal team of Tarun Tejpal seems uh, bent on securing any some kind of relief for Tarun Tejpal. First they tried that he should not go, he should not be in the custody of Goa police in which they have failed. Now they are trying another trick out of the book which means uh, which where they are saying that Tarun Tejpal could be interrogated in Goa police custody but uh, it should be done in presence of a council which is unheard of. But we'll have to really wait and see as to how the Goa court uh, adjudicates in this regard.